Newton, come. Hello, everybody. I'm uh, Paul Beckwith, and today is uh, December 31st, 2022, so the last day of the year. Um, and then we're into 2023, so Happy New Year, Happy Holidays to everybody. I'm at uh, Conroy Pit in Ottawa, walking my dog Newton, who's right here. Or he's walking me, rather. And you can see somebody in the far, far distance, and that's... Uh, that's my spouse, uh, Susan, Susan. Anyway, I have to walk fast, I guess, to catch up to her. So, yeah, it's been a busy last few months. I haven't been able to post uh, too many videos. I've got a load of videos stored on my phone to upload, which I'll be doing over the next little while, plus uh, new videos like this one. So... Most of you know I went to uh, Egypt to uh, COP27 in Sharm El Sheikh, resort town on the far south of the uh, Sinai Peninsula. And, uh, you know, filmed loads of videos, interviewed lots of people there. So I was there for three weeks, well, two, two and a half weeks in Sharm, two, just over two weeks in Sharm, and then another half week in uh, Cairo to see Giza and the you know the pyramids the um, museum of Egyptian National Museum of, of in, in antiquities right it was quite a trip I'd never been to Egypt and then uh, a few weeks after I got back um, I attended I was lucky enough to get passes to uh, attend the COP15, the Conference on Biodiversity in Montreal. So I ended up attending uh, four days of the conference in person and uh, the rest of the conference in uh, virtually and uh, did a press conference and uh, had many, many interviews with people, including Elizabeth May and uh, Catherine Hayhoe. Those are the most memorable ones and uh, those are uh, with my colleagues um, Heidi and Charles on the climate emergency forum the three of us uh, were at the you know at both conferences Newton hi hi I got a wet doggy go see mommy go on go see, where's mommy this dog I better catch up because you're making the rounds from me to Susan back to me and uh, we're far apart so he's getting very confused here so what I really want to talk about in this video and uh, you know just so you know I have like numerous videos to upload I'm I'm way behind on uploading videos to my channel um, but uh, so I'll be doing multiple video uploads per day until I'm all caught up. And then, because there's loads of new papers, there was the American Geophysical Union Conference with lots of new papers on jet streams, on Arctic sea ice decline, on permafrost, et cetera, et cetera. So loads and loads of stuff. But what I want to talk about right now is what's been happening in our weather systems in North America, mostly Eastern North America, you know, just before Christmas and now, um, you know, about a week after Christmas. So what we had is, is uh, we had basically the, uh, I don't wanna wipe out here. The jet stream, as you know, is much slower and wavier than normal. So what we had is we had a massive cold uh, event over Siberia, really, really cold temperatures, a huge mass of uh, very, very cold. So it's very, very dense and uh, dry air. 
in the Arctic. Now, because the jet streams are broken and fractured, and there was a huge trough going very, very far, a huge trough occurred going very, very far south, bringing this massive coldness down to North America. You know, when it hit BC, it distorted the jet streams. We had this huge trough developing and uh, that created all this cold air coming down, clashed with the warm air, warmer air, and created this massive storm with an over 3,000 kilometer front. And it uh, dumped loads of snow um, in various places. Um, depending on where you were, there are lots of regional effects. So Buffalo is well known for heavy snowfalls, but what happened is because of, because of the overall warming, the surface temperature of the Great Lakes was extremely high basically varying between, I don't know, depending on which lake and where you were, two to five degrees Celsius. So now you had this mass of very, very cold air coming down, you know, and the prevailing conditions are from west to east. So this uh, cold air crossed the Great Lakes, picked up huge amounts of moisture, and we had this uh, lake effect snow hitting Buffalo hitting Fort area in those regions. So for example, you know, you get two or three feet of snow one day, then you get a foot the next day, then you get another two to three feet of snow, basically buried a lot of these places. Not only that, but the uh, prevailing winds from west to east, it basically created this huge seich effect in the Great Lakes, especially the ones that Move, that, that are basically ge geographically situated, you know, as elongated in the west to east direction. So the water on the west side of the lake was literally pushed over time by the winds, and it depends on the duration of the winds, the wind strength, um, things like that, the wind direction, of course. So you had a drop of about six or seven feet in water on the western coastlines of the lakes and a rise of, uh, I think over 10 feet in some places on the east side of the lakes. So combined with the high winds and the uh, 10 foot rise of water on the east side of the Great Lakes, you got lots of uh, coastal damage. And if you look at some of the images of houses in Fort Erie, it was absolutely crazy, you know, completely coated with ice. So that was last week's news. Well, what happened is the jet streams shifted. There was a phase shift. So now we're in this trough in these regions that had this storm. We're in a, we're in a, uh, sorry, a crest, a ridge of the wave is what we have now. So those areas that were in the trough that got the snow dump are now seeing double digit temperatures. So Ottawa, you know, we hit about 11 degrees yesterday on December 30th. You know, not quite as warm today, but basically we got a we got this uh, ridge and hot humid air coming up from further south causing a massive rapid melting whereas before we had a rapid massive flash freeze which caused so much so many of the problems on the roads etc so this is all part of what i've called many years ago weather whiplashing or weather wilding you know the whiplashing where you go from one extreme of weather to another extreme you know you have very cold weather stormy and then uh, for like half a week or whatever, and then it shifts to very, very warm, exceptionally warm, and then back to cold. And we get all of these shifts. It makes it very difficult to, um, to, you know, when these things sort of happen, these extreme weather events are very hard on infrastructure, very hard on ro roads, rail lines, buildings, you know, and think about how it affects 
you know, the crops that we try to grow. But not only that, I mean, we're in our houses. It affects plants and animals, you know, tremendously, much more so than, than us. So this is all because of abrupt climate system change. You know, you don't see much in the news about that, about being a root cause for these type of storm systems. Sure, we had loads of storms in the past, but it's the, the whiplashing from one extreme to another that's different. You know, as you know, I mean, the buckling and fracturing and the slowing um, and the waviness increase in the jet stream, waviness in the north-south direction is causing these extreme weather events and they're increasing in frequency, severity and duration. And they're happening also in regions where they never occurred before. So this is just uh, part of the overall picture of, a, of abrupt climate system change. So I just wanted to bring that to you, you know, let you know, you know, what is happening in our weather system and how it's related to how it's directly a root cause of climate change and uh, you know since this video like I said is being filmed on December 31st 2022 the last day of the year I want to welcome everybody to 2023 in a few short hours I think they're there already in Australia and uh, yeah um, I'll endeavor to catch up on all my videos and uh, I'm doing a bit of renovations on my back room. We got a whole bunch of windows replaced in the house and where I'd film my videos normally is a complete mess. So it's good I have a backlog of videos. I'll be posting those in the next little while and then get into my regular routine of videos. So thanks for listening and uh, happy new year, everybody. Bye for now. I think I lost my dog and uh, oh no I think they're way down there okay all right bye for now